today I'm going to be teaching you different ways that you can wear a red lip. I know some people don't feel comfortable wearing a red lip. It can be quite a bold thing to do, but there are different ways you can wear them and you can do whatever suits you. I just want to show you some of my favourite ways and how to get most out of one of your lipsticks. I did film a video with some of my favourite red lipsticks that I love wearing and I will link that up here, so be sure to check that out. Before we begin, I just want to remind you, if you're not a part of this family already, you can click the subscription button down below and the notification bell next to it and you'll see more videos from me if you want to see how I got this look and some of the other looks then please keep watching so for the demonstration I'm going to be using the Patrick Star and MAC collaboration which is called Patrick Wu it's a matte lipstick I really really love this lipstick it's a really neutral toned red it pulls up a tiny bit blue I feel like sometimes but it does give you that classic red lip although it is up there as one of my favorite red lipsticks I didn't include it in my red lipstick favorites because it is a collaboration it is limited edition and I believe it's sold out which is a bit of a bummer but you can achieve these kind of looks with any color lipstick just see what you have in your collection and that will do fine so the first thing I do is when I am wearing a bright lip or any lip but especially if I'm wearing a bright lip I will go ahead and I will apply some Lucas purple ointment or any kind of lip balm or something to moisturize the lip because you don't want your lips looking dry especially if you're wearing such a bold color and that's what's going to draw the attention to you so you just want to make sure that you have it moisturized i just keep this in my personal kit and my professional kit and it's just something really easy to pop on the lips before you put your makeup on just so when you're doing your makeup it's absorbed by the lips and then by the time you get to applying your lipstick it's already plump and smooth and it's going to apply really really nicely so I'll just take a little dollop on my finger and I'll apply it all over my lips. I let that sit as I'm doing my makeup so it really really sinks into my lips and moisturizes them so that I don't have any dry patches. I tend to have more drier lips so I need the hydration on there. Another thing that I do to keep my lips hydrated is I use the Laneige Lip Mask. I have it by my bedside, I use it every night and it's really transformed my lips. I used to have really really dry crusty lips and it was not pretty and I couldn't use liquid lipsticks for the longest time and since I've started using that Laneige Lip Mask I've been able to to wear any liquid lipsticks without any like crustiness and any nastiness so I would really recommend that if you have really really dry lips it's just a really nice overnight mask I got the berry flavor one it's so good it reminds me of old school lip salves so once I've let that sink in for a little while I'll go over with a q-tip and I'll just gently almost not rub off and not or take off but I just want to lift off any of the dead skin that is sitting on top of my lips just so that they don't get caught up in the texture of the lipstick because what that's going to do is it's going to show through especially if you're wearing a matte lipstick it's going to show all the texture so that's one key thing that I would suggest for anyone who wants to wear a red lip and I just take it and I just rub it over the top of my lips I had a bit of pink lipstick on before so that's really lifted all of that up and if you can see, my lips are really smooth now and ready for application. So the first way I would wear my red lip and the way that I wear it the most often is I will just apply it with my finger. So I'll put my ring finger onto it take a tiny bit on and I'll apply it like a stain and I feel like that way it kind of lasts longer and generally when I wear red lips this is the first layer that I do to help it last longer. I'll take that and I'll just pat it onto my lips and it doesn't have to be neat. Obviously just keep a good shape. Any red lip or any lip color that you want to wear just make sure you keep a good shape and this is the easiest most wearable red lip. It's just not higher maintenance, it's not requiring a lot of attention. You can go in with as much as you want or just a little bit I like to go in with about two layers and this is the first way that I tend to apply a red lip this is how I get the most use out of my red colors just because it's so easy to wear and when you're eating it doesn't transfer too much it's not too in your face it doesn't require a lot of maintenance so anyone who is afraid of wearing red lips and wants to try it out this will probably be the way that I suggest you do it depending on the formula of your lipstick this can be slightly dry so with this formula even though it's matte it's not sucking the life 
mouth out of my lips you can get really matte formulas which can be really dry if you do this so i would recommend more of a satin formula especially if you have dry lips like mine you're going to need something to hydrate it also with this kind of application you don't really need a pencil because it's not really a structured lip it's just more of a casual lip you can probably wear this with a white t-shirt and blue jeans and it would look really really pretty i love it when people wear bold lips with just casual clothes it's so pretty although it's really nice when people wear it as an elegant kind of evening look i just find there's something about people who wear red lips with casual clothes it just looks so cute if you like more of a balmy texture something that i do quite often is i will put a tiny bit of my red lip color into a lip balm so you know this little lip balm there's vaseline or like carmex or something that you can carry around in your bag i would just pop a tiny bit of this or any color that you like wearing and i'll just mix it in with the balm and apply it so you get kind of like a balmy lipstick texture and i'm going to show you how it works with the lucas before you can see oh, that's the worst ever swatch just blending that into the balm and it creates a really nice soft texture so i'm going to pop that onto my lips and you're going to see that it still keeps its casual look but it's more vibrant and this is something that is really nice for the winter months in cold climates because it doesn't suck the life out of your lips and it hydrates them this looks like those really high-end glossy lipsticks that you get from like YSL and that's what I really love about it a lot of people ask me where I got my red lip from and I've just mixed a lipstick with a balm and it just gives this really nice pretty almost like glossy balmy look it's still casual you can still wear it with like your daytime clothes and it'll still look really pretty once again it's not high maintenance you don't have to wear it with a lip liner it's just something that can be pulled off really casually i've just blotted off the balm on my lips and you can see that it's kind of created a really nice stain and this is really nice when it looks a bit more worn towards the end of the day it's a really really subtle red lip next when you want to go in with more of a bolder red lip but you don't want to create that really sharp in your face red lip I would go in with a lip pencil this one is the 318 from MAC I generally go in with this first because I want to create the shape a lot of people tend to go in with lip liners first and if you're not that great with creating a line with your lip liner you're going to create a really awkward lip shape so the best thing to do is just to go with the inside first and create the shape and then just touch it up with the lip liner if you want to but this way you don't actually have to use the lip liner I'm going to show you how I create a bolder red lip just using a lip brush and your lipstick so i'm going to go in first and really massage this color into the lines of my lips you do have to take a bit of time when you're doing your red lip you can't just apply it how i've seen some people do you don't want to just apply it and go ahead because it's not going to be set into the lines and it's just going to look really untidy in the end if you're going to do a red lip you might as well put time into it and do it properly once i've used the flat side of the brush to apply the lip i'll use the thinner end of the brush and i'll just gently draw the edges on and you can still get a really nice shape out of it this way what the lip brush is going to help do is once you apply the lipstick it's going to help you push the product around just so you get that perfect application and that is basically the application alone with just lip brush and the lipstick i feel like this is a really low maintenance version of a really bright bold red lip it is a really sharp look but it's not too structured that you can't get away with wearing it in the daytime i think it's so pretty to wear again with just like casual clothes it's just really really cute to wear a bright red lip like this it's bold but it's not overpowering you can even add a tiny bit more by going in straight with the bullet you see how much more vibrant that looks just by adding a tiny bit more color when i'm doing a bright long lasting lip like this first i'll go in with the stain method and that will help just in case it wears off a tiny bit your lips are already stained with the red so it's not going to give you that butthole lip look then i'll go in with a lip pencil and i'll do this so i'll go in and i'll create the shape that i want and then i will go in with tissue and i will blot it i tend to blot twice and that's just going to take the top layer of the lipstick out and it's going to really like blend everything together and create like a deep red stain once i've done that i'm going to go in with a lip liner the reason i like using a lip liner is because i like changing the shape of my lips i like overlining them making them like more plump and just like juicy so i'll go in and i'll always overline my bottom lip and then i'll just slightly overline the top of the cupid's bow just to make it look more like a pouty red lip i don't want to go overboard oh this is cherry from mac that i'm using 
just gonna follow the outline of the lip for now and it's just gonna help define the outer edge of the lips. When you're overlining your lips, you want to make sure that when it comes to the corners of the mouth, you don't go too far out of the line. So you want to stay within the line when you go from here and then you wanna slowly outline and go over the outline when it comes to the bottom. Otherwise, you're gonna look like you have like a fish mouth and it's just not gonna look good. To overline the lips properly on the bottom, I tend to smile and just make it a more flatter surface so you don't have to like work so hard. Can you see how much of a difference that's already made? I just go slightly over the edge, but not too far over because my lips generally go underneath so to bring that back out i just go slightly over the edge here but i don't go past this end corner right here because that's what's going to give it away can you see how much bolder just by adding a lip liner makes your whole entire lip look it just completely changes it from daytime to evening it creates really sharp edges and just gives your look a really clean put together lip then once i've done that i'll go back in one more time with the red lipstick on the lip brush and just touch up and blend in the liner The last step, which a lot of people miss out on a red lip, is when you clean it up. And this is so important in any lip that you do, not just a red lip. If you clean up your lip, it's just gonna make it look really sharp and put together. And then you'll start realizing that when you don't do it, it will look a bit lazy and a bit, you know, untidy. So what I do is I take any concealer and any flat definer brush. You can use a concealer brush. This is just a flat angled synthetic brush. Put a tiny bit of concealer on the back of your hand and go in and clean up the edges of the lip and then blend that down if you ever touch your red lip with your concealer brush you do not want to blend down straight away you make sure you wipe it off on the back of your hand before you go in and blend the concealer or if you've got a double-ended brush like this you can always go in with the brush and just blend out that way because what you're going to do is if you get any of that concealer mixed in with the red lipstick on your face it's going to really be difficult to remove you'll have to remove some of your makeup it'll just be a really long-winded process so can you see here it's really really untidy on the edge you just want to give that a tiny bit of a sharpened look not only will it just sharpen the edges of your lips it's going to lift up those areas and just really brighten around your mouth I just take this around the top as well once you've applied your lip you want to take a step back and just see how it looks on your face because the bolder your lip the more washed out your face will look so I will go in and I'll apply some more blush and apply some just gently to the apples of the cheek this is just the L'Oreal blush I tend to take my blush a tiny bit more in when I've got a red lip, just so it looks a bit more cohesive. And that is the finished look. There are so many things that you can do. You can add a gloss to this if you really feel like you want your look to be glossy, but a glossy red lip is the most highest maintenance red lip there is, in my opinion. Or you can go in with a darker lip liner around the edges and just create an ombre, and that's going to make your lips look more pouty. If you want to make your lips look a bit more orangey, you can go in with an orangey lipstick in the middle. You can add a pink lip just to the center, just to make it more rosy. So there are so many things you can do with a red lip. Also, if you don't have any blush, you can just tap onto the end, massage it onto the back of the hand, and just tap it over. Just put a tiny bit on to the apple of the cheek that's just gonna make the whole look come together because you're not using a different undertone for your blush and your lip you really just want to go as much or as little as you feel comfortable doing it's just personal preference I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did please give it a thumbs up please subscribe the button is down below and click the notification bell I right, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye It's just a really nice open it's just a really nice overnight mask for your lips. In that video I discuss more of but it I